Hi, welcome to the differences between 17 hats and Dubsado that no one talks about and how to decide which one is right for your service business today. So my name is Gillianne. I am a Dubsado and 17 hats expert and I help women entrepreneurs to set up, optimize and maintain their systems so that they can impress their clients at first touch, save massive amounts of time and because of that make way more money. I'd love for you to join my free Facebook group, the Client Management Society. In there, I talk about lots of tips, tricks and best practices for using 17 Hats and Dubsado in your business. So I want to make it clear that the information is correct at the time of recording this video. So this is June 2020 and this is not all of the differences. It's just a few of the lesser known ones. If you want to find out more about the differences, I have a video called Dubsado or 17 Hats, How Do I Choose? You can find it on my YouTube channel or in my Facebook group and it will go through the differences between the two and how you can decide which one is best for you. In 17 Hats, when a client pays an invoice, they automatically receive an email notification that they have paid with access to their invoice. Dubsado doesn't offer that. If you want to send a receipt to confirm that you have received payment, you have to do it as part of a workflow. And so I think that's a huge difference because it would be lovely if Dubsado just sent a receipt to let your client know that you've received the payment and give them access and we didn't have to add it in as another step within the workflow. In 17 Hats, you can break up a workflow into little phases, which is a lot easier on the eye and it helps you to kind of categorize your workflow into little chunks. I love the fact that we can break workflows down, especially really long ones, into little short bite sized sections. And I find it really helpful. Dubsado doesn't have that ability. So sometimes when you're looking at a workflow that you've created in Dubsado, straight away, straight away the workflow can be quite hard to read. And it would be much easier if you were able to break it into little sections like workflow phases in 17 Hats. In Dubsado, if you want to schedule an email to go out later, there are three preset options. The first is in three hours time. The next one is 9 a.m. the next morning or seven days from this time. So if you want to schedule any emails to go outside of those three preset options, it's kind of a long winded way to do it. You first have to select one of those options. Then in the project, you need to go into the workflow section. Then you need to enter the workflow and amend the time and the date that you want the email to go out. Much easier in 17 Hats. In 17 Hats, you just click send later, choose the date, choose the time, and it's just quicker and easier to do. In 17 Hats, there's more options when it comes to custom fields. In Dubsado, when you're creating a custom field, you have the choice of creating a short answer field or a date field. Whereas in 17 Hats, you can use a long field, a yes or no question, check boxes, or a choose from a list option. In 17 Hats, when you create your contract, it can automatically be signed upon creation. In Dubsado, you cannot sign before a client signs if you have marked fields within the contract. In Dubsado, we have the ability to put a little placeholder text within a question that you ask. And this is great for giving instructions or adding descriptions to help your client fill out a question that you're asking them. So great if you have a collaborative service and you're really trying to pull information out of a client, you can give them kind of a, an example or a further description, instructions of how you would handle this yourself. 17 Hats does not have this ability. You can only ask the question. You can't put any text within the box. In 17 Hats, we can upload photographs or PDFs, documents that are receipts of our expenses. So it's keeping everything together. We have all of our expenses tracked in 17 Hats and the receipt is there. This is particularly helpful if you're giving access to your accountant to your bookkeeping area because they can go in there, they can see the expenses, they can grab the receipts, really easy to do. I would love for Dubsado to have that feature where you could add the actual receipt that you have 
to the expense. Dubsado has the ability to add forms or documents to the client portal automatically all within a workflow so you don't have to do anything the workflow will take care of uploading everything that you need into the client portal on your behalf so this is really great again for collaborative work because you can rely on your workflow to take care of putting all of your collaborative documents all of the documents that you want your client to see into your client portal without you having to do anything which is wonderful Dubsado gives us the option to send an email reminder if a form has not been completed via the workflow. So this is great because we can send automated reminders and follow-ups when a form has not been completed, but if it has, it simply would skip that step of the workflow and move on. Automated reminders are wonderful because it means that we don't have to be keeping on top of it. The workflow can take care of all of that for us. In 17 Hats, you can sync your bank account with your bookkeeping area and what it'll do is it'll bring all of your card transactions into your 17 hats account this is great two things to be aware of number one this is only available for us customers so if you're a 17 hats customer in the uk or anywhere else this option is no longer available to us because of security reasons Banks frequently have to update their softwares, increase regulations, and because of that, sometimes when they do that, it will stop the integration with 17 Hats and you need to reconnect to your bank account. And a problem that I see is that we're not notified when that happens. So it could be a, a while before we realize that the bank account has been disconnected and that we need to reconnect. So I always suggest that this is something that you add to your to-do list every few weeks to just jump in and quickly check that your bank account is still syncing okay. In Dubsado, you can have one email signature, whereas in 17 Hats, we can have multiple email signatures. I love using this for, if I have a sales promotion on, I can use that email signature and it gives more options for personalizing your emails. In Dubsado, when you're creating a canned email, which is your email template, there's no ability to add an attachment to that canned email. Whereas in 17 Hats, we can add a PDF or a document or an image of any kind to our email template and then have that as part of the workflow. And any time that workflow is triggered, that email goes out with that attachment. So if you're working on an email, in 17 Hats, you can easily save that email as a draft that you can come back to later. In Dubsado, it's really hard to save an email that you've been working on to come back to it later. So those are the few differences that are important but not really talked about very often. If you want to get a real overview of the differences between both 17 Hats and Dubsado and how to choose which one is right for your business, then I recommend that you check out the Dubsado or 17 Hats How Do I Choose video on my YouTube channel, or you can also find it if you join me in the Client Management Society on Facebook. Remember, if you're trying to decide which one is right for you and you have any questions, the best place to contact me is in the Client Management Society. I'd love to welcome you inside.